Hello and welcome to Shadow Warrior 2013. Uh, I thought since in celebration of the future release of Shadow Warrior 3, I go through 1 and 2 and maybe Classic Redux, possibly. But, um, yeah, I've, I've actually played this game before, but I thought it would still just be fun to record. Uh, keep in mind that in the beginning there is a song, so that's probably going to get muted. Uh, pr probably. I'll just go normal difficulty. There, there's a beginning cutscene where Lo Wang is singing and all, so it's probably going to be muted. So, sorry about that. Here we are, here at whatever this place is, I have no idea actually. But we're here to make a business transaction and that is what we're going to do. I 
I'm sure everything will go smoothly, and nothing will go wrong at all. LMB, Swing Katana, Charge Slash, Shuriken. Ooh, I'm a ninja. Very nice. So you might recognize this area if you watch the visceral cleanup detail place. Uh, or the visceral cleanup detail, whatever that game was called. Uh, this is sort of like the starting area where they had you clean up all those body parts and stuff. Hello. There we go. Med kit, nice. Left shift, wads, you can dash in any chosen direction hold the sprints okay here we go right into battle and this must be like the sharpest sword in the entire world it's just butter cutting butter except it's human organs and stuff like that which, you know, I don't know I would exactly use that for cooking like butter, but you know, it's preference. Everything is under control and 
I think that went smoothly. We have a gun. A bunch of boxes here. A lot of boxes. Now oh, we got some money. Very nice. Alright, I mean at this point, is it really worth it? I mean, I don't know. Oh, fortune cookie. Very nice. If I, if I had to describe this game, it would basically be like you're playing an 80s ninja movie. That's the way I would describe this game. Hello, are you a demon? Yes, you are. But that's the way I would describe this game. You're basically playing an 80s ninja action movie. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... You know. Got this nice landscape, though. Pretty beautiful. And, uh... I remember if I wait here long enough... Something will happen. Oh, it's not exactly happening. How long do I have to wait here? <sighs> there we go. Look at that. All the way in the back over there, there's Godzilla moving over there I mean I don't know what he's doing but you know he's there all right but yeah like I said I have played this game before so yeah I, I find this game fun and uh, you know, it's pretty cool, but I just have to wait until we get into some of the meat of the game. Play a lot more weapons than just a pistol. And also, I guess a demon invasion happens. That Not exactly sure how it happened, but... There's still one more. Alright. I think that takes care of everyone. A demon heart, really? Ooh, that looks juicy, I guess. I don't know if that's a compliment, but... There's one thing I want to show you about this game. Is that it has secrets. Secrets such as this. Which the collect secret noise in this game is like slightly unsettling to me. It's just like the way that it's toned is just kind of unsettling, but I don't know. 
I guess I always have a thing with like a tone in music and like just I don't know I have like weird fears regarding like video games like supernaturally breaking and stuff I don't know I just I just went on a run-on sentence. Went on a run-on sentence. Okay. Where is it? Where is the puppet show So now we have magical powers, I think. Yeah, we, we do. So now we have chi, which is, you know, just more like 80s stuff, I guess. I don't know. It's just like this game is cool, but it's also like kind of that ridiculous cool, if that makes sense. Like it's so ridiculous that you just have to like it. Not that that's a bad thing, but... I don't know, it's just kinda... Funny, I guess. Find the golem and retrieve the Matsubra Kage. I just pronounced that terribly wrong. Killing enemies and finding vials with blood will give you karma. You can use your karma to learn and upgrade your skills. Alright. Where's the upgrade menu? Katana Mastery. The greatest of sword masters understand perfectly that the true power lies not in the blade, but in the will of its wielder. 
Learn how to use chi energy in combat by channeling it through your sword. So now we can learn Divider of Heavens. This focused frontal chi strike will slay all but most powerful of opponents. Alright. Very cool. See, we can get upgrades for our guns here. And also buy ammo. And we have more upgrades over here, which is cool. So now we can use Divider of Heavens and break that, which unlocks this door. Very nice. And it can also be used on enemies, which is a bonus. Karma flows with blood. I didn't read that. I was holding down the button, so it just went away. Oop, hello. Hello. I didn't expect to see humans here. You know, with the demon invasion and whatnot. There we go. So those shurikens that appeared at like the bottom of the screen it's basically telling me how uh, how good I did in a fight or well it's just like the variety of your attacks and stuff like that will uh, grant you karma and the more karma you get the more you can upgrade your stuff so you want to try and get a large amount of karma so that you can, you know, upgrade more stuff. Because upgrading stuff is good. Who would have guessed? Ooh, there's a pool of blood over there. Hold on. I gotta get to it. Okay, if I can find my way through this. There we go. There's a lot of bamboo here. And we're here. I think. Yeah. This is a confusing forest. Uh, this way, I think. Yeah, here we go. No, I have to go break the thing which is somewhere um, my goodness all this bamboo looks the same uh, I went over there so let's go over here I guess Dark crystals give you chi, an energy that allows you to learn or upgrade demonic powers. Press you and choose powers to find out more. Alright, do that after I break this. There we go. So, chi can let you upgrade some things. Here we have a section for healing, for flux, which is just like think it pushes them or no it stuns them up in the air shockwave which pushes them back and protection which protects you against damage um, I'm gonna do I think I'll focus on healing for now because I feel like it's gonna be the most important 
but uh, yeah, even though I've played this before, I'm probably not going to dedicate myself to getting all the secrets just for this playthrough because I don't want to I think I'll wait to get all the secrets on maybe a harder difficulty because uh, I just don't want to, you know, waste time like traveling level from level or just traveling all over a level trying to find a secret when I could be killing demons, which is just a little bit more exciting. Not that finding secrets aren't, but you know, we're killing demons here. Demon killing is always fun, I think. Maybe. I am missing all my shots. That nope, never mind, my health is full. There are a lot of demons. Ow, I'm on fire. Alright, we're fine now. Good as new. Except for being set on fire, of course. I actually forgot how the karma system works because apparently it's not the variety of attacks you use but like how many modifiers you get and modifiers are like the things that if I can aim correctly oh my goodness I am missing everything all right I guess we're not gonna be using a gun Ow. But modifiers are like those words that appear uh, when you do certain things like get a headshot or slice someone up. So I guess it's based on like how many modifiers you get rather than the variety of attacks that you use. So. Of course people have like found a way to exploit the karma system and get like five shurikens every battle which means that you get you know a lot of karma a lot of karma per uh, per battle but of course I'm not going to be doing that because you know I just want to play normally um, Though I guess you could do that on maybe like heroic mode, which is the hardest difficulty or something like that.
Alright, so I think we're going to leave this first episode off here. Uh, next part, I will come back and we will track down the sword and hopefully things will go okay, which they probably won't. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.